We've got a package. What? A package? I had no idea you were gonna come around the corner with a package addressed to John the Potter. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Addressed to John the Potter. That's how I know something is fun. Something fun is inside. I have no idea what it is. All right, we're gonna open it and see what's inside. So exciting. <laughs> it's candy. Candy? Why do? You, why would I? You want it to be candy? Here, you can hold it. Yeah. Sure. I'll just open it. All right, here, get up really close here. <laughs> John and family. Northwoods gourmet girl. Pantry staples and Northwoods lifestyle goods. Totally. Northwoods lifestyle. What does that mean? I mean, that mean I feel like that's the lifestyle I live. It's the Northwoods lifestyle. This feels like something. Ooh la la, sweet and spicy mustard. Good on everything. Let's just read this note really quick. Wow, it's a long note. Came across your videos while thinking of starting a small studio in my shop. I know, thank you Northwoods. <laughs> Cherry tartlet. That looks tasty. That looks tasty. <laughs> Ooh, some sweet and spicy toasted walnut. Haven't I always told you how much I like sweet and spicy? <laughs> uh, no, I've never heard you say that before, ever. I think that's everything, but I will check to make sure and let you know. Well, if you wanna go check out the Northwoods Gourmet Girl, I'll probably put a link somewhere in the description. Thank you, I appreciate it. This will be delicious. Try it out. Yeah, try it out, dude. My new favorite, I'm sure. Sam's in the middle of making sandwiches, so don't, <laughs> don't pay attention to those red peppers over there. How are they? Really good. Really good. They are. Let's try them. What are these? Ooh, look at that big chunk. I'm gonna save that. So we're gonna be right up Sweet Rider's Alley. Sweet and spicy. Made with walnuts, cane sugar, egg white, sea salt, and cayenne pepper. Oh, they are kind of spicy. Wow. At the end. Wow. Those are good. They are good. Those are so good. Those are actually really good. And they're like so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't tasted the spiciness yet. Oh, there's the spiciness. Yeah, it's like right at the end. Yeah, those are delicious. So good. We got another package! Thank you. This one is from Adelie Mitchell. Thank you, Adelie, so much. I love when you guys send me stuff. Works, I love it so much. Sorry about that machine. We uh, are making gelato upstairs right now, which means that that thing has to be on for us to be able to make gelato. So, sorry it's super loud. All right, let's open this thing. Merry Christmas. Adelie has her own YouTube channel. You can check it out if you would like. She unloads lots of kilns. Oh, and we got a sweet. Oh, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. And that like is real wood grain. That's super cool. And it says John, EC, and Ryder. That's gorgeous, and it's Oregon. Thank you, Adelie. This will go on my tree, and I will rep it proudly. It's beautiful. Peace. What's up, guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome back to another pottery video. We're on the way to a winter wedding. It's November 10th, it shouldn't be snowing, but it is snowing. We're gonna talk, what are we gonna talk about? I want a better driver, and that's why I'm driving. <laughs> that's not what we're gonna talk about. <laughs> we're talking about learning <laughs> and getting better and experimenting and the importance of, yeah, to always be learning, to always be getting better, whatever you're doing. Whether it's pottery, whether it's, teaching, whether it's business, we're just gonna talk. We're just talking. It's normal, right, to just have a camera in your face all the time? It's normal for us now. We're almost at 100 videos. Can you believe we, I made 100 videos? Wow, that is... I think actually. if if you would have told me when I started this little YouTube thing that I would have made 100 videos. How many months? Since February, so nine, 10 months. I would have said, 100 videos is a lot. I better be a really good videographer by the time I get to 100 videos. So, I'd say I'm better, getting better. So that's what we're talking about, getting better. Getting better. Finding ways to improve yourself. Finding ways. I just showed EC the new mug design. And what did she think? I loved it. She thought it was awesome. Normally she's like, oh cool, good job, whatever. But this one she's like, that is cool. So, way to go. I think we're hitting our stride on take two here. 
I just listened to a podcast with Warren McKenzie, which blew my mind. I'm gonna put in an explosion sound right there. <laughs> There's a podcast called The Tales of a Red Clay Rambler, and if you listen to podcasts a lot, I listen to podcasts a ton because when I'm throwing or doing anything in the studio, really, podcasts are the best. I like to watch YouTube videos too, but it's much easier to just like have your headphones in and listen instead of be watching something. So anyway, there's like a pottery podcast out there that they interview different potters and I like was searching through for anybody they recognized and he interviewed Warren McKenzie, which he's a super famous potter. He's from Minnesota as well. He is from Stillwater actually, which isn't too far from where we are right now. But yeah, that's this podcast was like so good. His philosophy about pottery and selling pottery and pricing pottery and why you pot, so good. So Did it's in the description. That? What? Say that? Why you pot? Well, that's what that's how he talks. That's how Warren McKenzie like Not why you why pot. You throw? Yeah, no pot. You're potting. Oh. And like he would call the place because he learned from Bernard Leach, who's also like a super famous potter. But yeah, Warren McKenzie's still alive. He's 91 and he still throws, which is like amazing. But I really want to interview him for the channel. Okay. Anyway, though, that podcast was so good like has me rethinking my whole my life around pottery that's how good it was so if you're a potter and you're go listen to warm but anyway i'm really gonna try and interview him and uh i think that could be super fun he's from minnesota he's 91 like i gotta capture that before he's no longer it's kind of kind of morbid but okay is that enough rambling for one car ride to a wedding here. insert clips of wedding dancing here Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, hit the bell button, Patreon, all the things. We'll see you in the next video.